Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine McDonald. And if you're new here, I post ballet and fitness related videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and now Sunday. If you're also new, you may as well hit subscribe because you're already here anyways. It's been a long time since I've done one of these videos and I did them around this time last year because I was getting ready for back to school, teaching at a new job, two new jobs actually. And this year I'll be returning to the dance studio I was teaching at last year and I figured I would do a what I wear in a week as a dance teacher. So today's actually Monday, so I'll start off with Monday. And Monday I am already just wearing this sweater that is from H&M and it's really baggy and comfortable because it's raining and Monday is actually my day off guys. I have one class later this afternoon and I'm going to be wearing the same thing just with the leggings. I have this top from Winners and I got it for like $9. This sweater from H&M, I don't remember how much it was. And these leggings which are my favorite, Lululemon leggings. And since I'm teaching online and at home tonight, I'll be wearing my ballet shoes which I need a new pair because, oh my goodness, mine are so dirty and disgusting and look at the holes. So that's gonna be on my list of things to purchase soon because I definitely need new ballet shoes. So yeah, this is Mondays and I'm wearing a lot of jewelry because I went out today. I went to the next town over and just hung out with one of my friends and we went and got coffee and lunch and desserts and just wanted a nice walk together. So this is my outfit for Monday. Tuesday, however, it is my first official day back at the studio and I'm actually teaching PBT this year. And for those of you who don't know, PBT stands for Progressing Ballet Technique and it is a certification recognized by RAD, which is Royal Academy of Dance. So I'm very excited to be returning to the studio and teaching something new, but also something I'm familiar with because I did the training for PBT teacher certification. But because it is still ballet, I wanna set a really good example wear a leotard, which is obviously a Yumiko leotard. Up close, you can see this really pink, pretty hue, and then the black mesh is just really classic. And it is kind of cold now. It's raining and it's fall. So I'm going to bring a sweater just in case, but I'm gonna wear this leotard with my Lululemon leggings on top, just because I didn't really do much today. I didn't sweat a lot in them. So I'm gonna recycle these leggings tomorrow because it's all obviously better to wear them instead of like wear them a couple times in the week than wash them every time because I just wash these anyways. I literally just pulled them off of the drying rack this morning to wear them out today. So I'll wear this with my leggings. And then for modesty, just if I feel like it, I'll wear this pretty skirt on top. I also have that black one that you guys are familiar with me wearing. I'll wear this on top with my sweater. <laughs> from Walmart, funnily enough. It is so comfortable and it looks so professional and teacher-y. So I'll wear this for tomorrow and I'll be teaching from 3.30 until I believe 8.30 or 8.45, something around there. So it's gonna be a long evening and I wanna make sure I'm comfortable and practical because I'll be dancing and probably showing a lot since the kids are new to PBT this year. And I wanna actually wear something where the kids can see what I'm doing. Like this is way too big. They wouldn't be able to see like what my back's doing if I'm arched or whatever, right? So they need to be able to see as much as I need to be able to move. But that's gonna be my Tuesday. Wednesday is a stay at home day for me. I'm teaching online from, I teach every morning at 8 a.m. in September online. I'll be teaching from noon until about 7 30 online so same thing i want to be comfortable practical and wear something that the students can see me in and it's the middle of the week so i need a little pick me up so i'm going to be wearing this teal leotard from slinger dance and it's a white bottom with the blue teal top and then to go with it i think this skirt you guys have seen me wear this skirt literally every day and i it's because i wear it every day because it has pockets i mean how do you not wear a skirt that has pockets every day? So I'm gonna be wearing this skirt from Halara, which you guys have seen my Halara vlog. If you follow me and I'll put that somewhere in my description box or in the link up above. But this skirt is so buttery and smooth and I love that it has pockets on the shorts underneath and I don't have to wear tights. And I hate wearing tights at home when it's still kind of summer weather because it's way too hot and I'm gonna be wearing them for way too long. So. This is definitely my go-to and if it gets cold, I'll just throw like one of these sweaters. That's what's so nice about this sweater. It's so thick and warm and soft, but it also is cute, <laughs> right? It doesn't cover too much because it's open and I can tie it up. It's kind of like a robe in that way, but um, I'll just wear these on Wednesday plus my ballet shoes because I'll be at home. When I'm in the studio, I don't wear ballet shoes. I tend to wear my sneakers just because I'm standing a lot on a harder floor versus at home. I sit a lot of the time because I'm up at the camera or I'm up at the Zoom call with my student. I do a lot more sitting when I'm at home, A, because I don't have as much space, and B, I like to pay attention to the student close up on the camera, because sometimes the Zoom camera can be pretty small, so I don't have to wear sneakers or 
days that I'm on Zoom or online because I'm not standing as much as in person. Thursday, I'm back in person and Thursday is actually a mixed day. I think I teach tap, hip hop, jazz, you name it. So I'm actually going to be wearing this top from Old Navy. I have a very similar one in black, but I just wanna be matchy this week and a little bit more cute. This top from Old Navy is really comfortable. It's a size too small for me. I would have gone larger, but that's fine because I'll wear a sweater on top of it. And then I'll also wear these pink and white leggings that I got from Winners and they were only like $10, which is really nice. And they have a really thick band or this part too, like the waistband. I like when it's really thick because I just feel like it hugs me better. You never have to worry about them slipping down and falling down your legs or down your butt. So yeah, I'll wear these and I like how they have the line that goes from one side to the next consecutively and on diagonal. I think it looks really cool. They also have pockets, which is helpful because I'll be in the studio and I'll be having my phone in my pocket and it's just nice. Go between speaker, you know, the students on one side to the next. If I have to record something so that the student can see something like a correction, then I have it on me. So that's always nice. That's my Thursday outfit. Friday is another stay at home day, but Fridays I teach a lot more than Wednesdays. So Wednesdays technically I have a like two hour break between all those classes from the afternoon till the evening. Fridays I don't have a break. So I wanna be real comfortable on Fridays, which is why I've chosen this leotard, which is also Yumiko and one of my favorite leotards that I own. It's black and it has the espresso trim and it's got a zipper as well and it's also really buttery and smooth and I'm also going to pair it with the exact same Halara skirt that I showed you guys previously however since I'm teaching early in the morning I'm gonna wear pants really thick warm pants and the classes that I teach earlier on I don't have to do a lot of demonstration and it's a lot of me telling the student corrections and guiding them through things so I'm not showing a lot so I'm gonna get away with these pants because they're comfortable and they're thick and they're warm especially since I looked at the forecast, it's supposed to be a little bit chillier that day. And those pants are nice and interchangeable between my stay at home days, between my Wednesdays and my Fridays. And then same with the skirt. I'll just pair it up when I feel like it on Friday, if it gets a little bit, a little bit cold, right? Or a little bit hot rather, a little bit hot. Then for Saturday, where's my Saturday? I don't even have a Saturday out. I'm going to wear another leotard on Saturday because I'm teaching in person and I'm teaching like the little, little guys. So I want to set a really good example and wear my black Lululemon leggings I'm wearing right now and just the same kind of sweater going on, like this kind of sweater, something like this. Also very comfortable. I'll be working from nine until two or nine until one. So just something that I can breathe in, but also they can see me and understand what I'm showing. So it's not just all baggy, right? Especially with little kids, they need to be able to see a lot. And then for Sunday, that's my day off. So I'm just gonna wear something like you'll see on the side here, like just a comfortable fit. I don't know, something casual. It depends on the weather that day. If it's nice out, I think I'll wear my green dress with my yellow shirt on top that I thrifted with all this jewelry. And I'll show you guys the finished product on this side, what that would look like. And if it's chilly, then I'll probably just wear sweats at home because I have the day off. So yeah, I know that was kind of a short video, but I wanted to show you guys what I would wear within a week and something realistic. And I love planning out outfits because it's so much fun. And then you kind of know ahead of time what you're gonna wear. You don't have to stress out the next day. That was the nice thing when you were younger. And if you went to a school like I did where there was a uniform, you never had to worry about picking out your outfit first thing in the morning. It was already done for you because you wore a uniform and I miss that. So I try to just organize my outfits accordingly in the morning because then I also know, okay, well, this thing's in the laundry. I can't wear this, but I can wear this. So the day of, I'm not scrambling to try to find something or do what I used to do. I used to, you know, go from one place to the next. So if I worked in my retail job, my dance job, I was wearing jeans. Sometimes I'd forget my pants. I'd forget like my dance pants. So I'd have to go buy a new pair. And that's such a waste, right? If you already have the same pair. That's actually how I found my Walmart pants and that Walmart jacket. I found them because I forgot to bring dance clothes to dance. Funnily enough, I was wearing jeans because I went out for coffee with a friend and then I looked in my back of my car, I opened it up and I was like, shoot, I forgot dance clothes and I can't teach in jeans. So yeah, that's how those came about. So those were a good investment because I wear them a lot. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're excited for back to school or if you're going back to a dance studio this season or this year. And let me know if you're starting any new classes. As always, it's such a pleasure. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and bye now.